everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you with a weekend haul that I did over this weekend um, I promised myself that I would not like buy anything luxury but that didn't exactly work out um, because you know our stores uh, internal just like got a new stock of like everything like I don't mean just one particular luxury uh, boutique I mean, like, all the stores got, like, their new bags, SLGs, accessories, whatever in. And I was having a lot of fun <laughs> this weekend. Um, so I'll just show you uh, what I got. Um, and first off, it's, it's nothing, like, too special or anything. It's nothing, like, expensive. You might laugh at me because... I don't know I'll show you but I went to Abercrombie kids and I actually fit like the boys largest size so a 15 16 and that's approximately approximately like a women's uh, small or medium I think so they're actually quite big um, so I got two items and also the store was having 40% uh, off in store so I purchased two items this one here um, in the black and white um, checkered fleece material um this is the first time i've ever seen like these types of shirts in this material the fleece really soft fleece material usually it just comes in the flannel cotton material but this here is super super soft i'm gonna be wearing this like crazy in the winter time uh this will be great for those really cold minus 30 degree weather um so that's that it's my first one and then the second one here um, it's basically the same one but it's in the classic flannel and it is blue checkered in here um, and this is this and they're both the size 15 16 so it's the biggest size in the children's wear um, for the boys so again I'll be wearing this again like in really cold winter days um i have two red versions of this and i love wearing them um i think they are the perfect um they go perfect with a lot of casual styles i'm a very casual person and i feel that this is very work appropriate for me because i am in construction so um you know wear these with um leggings underneath and a leather jacket and it works perfectly fine or you know anything really um you can dress this up or down it doesn't matter um i wear i can wear this to dinner parties i i'm that type of girl so it's that and they like um they were only um twenty dollars each so i got like thirteen dollars off of each of them so it was a pretty good deal um i basically basically got uh two for the price of one attack so that was really really good I'm happy about that so I'm practically like done uh, clothes shopping um, but I'm never done with luxury so um, as my luxury addiction keeps going um, I promised myself I wouldn't like you know buy like too much or like you know buy luxury this weekend but I couldn't help it. Um, I was in Yorkdale today. I actually had to return a scarf that I purchased this past Friday. Um, I'll show you a picture of what it actually looks like. So it was just this large black or charcoal uh, scarf here. As you can see, um, it's a pretty, pretty long scarf. It was very, very thick. It was... Um, 85% wool, 15% cashmere, and it was on sale uh, for 295 marked down for, from $435. So, you know, my friend and I, we thought it was a great, great deal, and we thought it would be really nice if we both had the scarf, um, because we both have the same uh, Chanel necklace, so, you know, we thought that we would, it would be nice to have the same scarf, just because... Um, it's cute that way, but it didn't work out for me. Um, as you can see in this photo here, sorry, my face isn't like, doesn't look the greatest like this, but as you can see, the scarf was really, really big and 
poofy. I couldn't tie it up. It would always want to undo itself. Um, it wasn't the greatest um, one for me. So as you can see, it was way too puffy. And um, at the time, I had to pin it with my uh, Chanel brooch. And I actually um, returned that brooch and I exchanged it for something else. Um, so I'll show you what that brooch looks like on as well. Because I also, I also had buyer's remorse on that. I also bought it the same day I bought the scarf. So this is... This is what the brooch looks like. Oh, that's not a good photo, but um, let's see. Yeah, this is a this is the photo here. I don't know if you could tell. It just had um, square and round crystals around the CCs. It was beautiful, but it was really small. It was like I would say it was about two inch, t uh, one and a half inches uh, big um, in circumference or in uh, diameter. So it wasn't too big, it wasn't too small. As you can see, um, this is me wearing it on, like just trying it on on my jacket. It was fairly small and for the price it was, I couldn't justify it. I, I kept, ha I had to keep reminding myself that, you know, for that little brooch, I could have bought a pair of shoes. I could have, I could have went to like a Louis Vuitton, whatever, or... It could have went to something else that I could use more on a daily basis and not be afraid that it would fall off. I am a type of person that wear, like, I can't wear rings at all. I am horrible at rings because they'll just start falling off. And even with bracelets, like, my Hermes um, click clack, these are the only bracelets I wear because I am so afraid that they're going to just fall off my wrist. But with these ones, I've had no problems. Um, and even with, like, rings, I tend to take them off and I wash my hands a whole lot because I work in construction. And that's another thing, because I work in construction, the beads of the CCs might fall off or whatever. And that also goes for my brooch. Um, I just felt it was just too dainty for me. The backing, um, I felt like the little closure would flip up and let the pin out and it would just fall off and fall to the floor and just shatter. Um, that's just how I felt. Um, maybe, like, in the near future or something, I'll buy another brooch, but probably not that particular one. It was gorgeous. I was thinking that I could wear it with so many things, um, but, you know, what? at the same time, it was too flashy. It was too in my face. Um, and if I wore it with that scarf, it, it I don't think it would have held it together. I, I felt like it would just rip a hole in the scarf as well so and that's what I really bought those two together because I thought it would really go well together but they didn't um so I went to um Burberry today and I purchased another Burberry bear um and this is the other one I got this is my first Burberry bear and this here is my second one so it came with a dust bag here and this is the one I got. Ta-da! It's a pink cashmere Burberry bear. And um, these guys are insanely, insanely cute. Um, I, I wanted originally wanted like the poncho bear, but because I have the punk bear, and I'm actually more happier with the punk bear, I actually just went with like the plain... Um, naked bear I guess you could say with the bow um because I wanted something classic and I wanted and I kept thinking to myself because this is like almost the same color as my rose ballerine neverfull they would go so well together so here is my neverfull here so here's my neverfull and here is the rose ballerine the color's not showing up very well but um, basically, they practically match, and they look very, very, like, well together, so I'll just show you what she looks like on here. I'm calling it a she because it's pink, so, that's what it looks like here. So as you can see, it looks really, really cute with the pop of, like, pink interior popping through to match the bear. And good thing about them is that they don't drag and they're not too heavy. I find sometimes if I'm hanging ever anything on my Neverfull, 
this little rivet here will start to pull on the canvas so but these bangers are very heavy and because she's not decorated with so much stuff um, it's not you know it's not pulling on the bag at all so it's that and I didn't see a tag with it I think the salespeople just ripped it off but that's okay um, the tag wasn't anything special or anything, um, but I do know that these Burberry bears, sorry, these Burberry bears are actually made in China, so, um, hence why the cost of these are relatively lower than, like, what you would, than, like, a Fendi monster dog or a Prada bear, although I'm not sure if the Prada bears are made in China, I don't have a Prada bear, but I actually prefer these guys over the Prada bear, um, because these are bigger and they actually move um, and because it's full cashmere I think you do get your money's worth more out of this because cashmere is just so luxurious and um, Burberry is actually known for their cashmere so these are my little two Burberry bears um, so they look really cute together kind of like girlfriend boyfriend type of thing so um, and I think that's it. I'm not buying any more Burberry Bears. I think I'm, like, officially done. So, that's my bear. Um, and then, as I was t telling you guys earlier about my brooch, I, I, like, again, returned it, exchanged it for something else, something bigger, because something that I would, uh, be so happy to wear all the time. Not so much with my brooch. Um, I actually, like, you know, tried it on, and... It was just very very flashy um, I actually went to I actually went to the mall that night and I just had it pinned onto my jacket um, and people were just staring at it and giving me weird looks with it and I did not like that I did not like the attention of that and you know I kept telling myself like before I went to the mall that you know I could turn any outfit into a Chanel outfit doesn't matter if it's like from H&M or from Walmart or whatever I can turn that outfit into a Chanel outfit but um, I, to me, that was just too flashy, showing off wealth very, very, like, in a very, very untasteful way. So I exchanged it for something bigger and something better. Um, so here is my Chanel bag, uh, here, that, um, and I went to Yorkdale again, the same mall that I went and got my Burberry bear, and, um, they actually had a lot more selection in SLGs and shoes um the bloor street ones didn't have a lot of stock so i you know it was a good thing that i went there so um it did come like tied in a white chanel ribbon but i took that off because it was unraveling as i was going home with it um so inside here has the chanel um little booklet here with the receipt and i'll show you the like the price tag of this in a moment and here is here it is um the box so i won't show you the side because it will give it away but here it is so it has camellia flower i didn't get a camellia flower on the bag itself but that's fine um but yeah i have another camellia flower here it has the white chanel ribbon on it and let me see sorry I'm just I'm taking a picture of it as I'm filming because I just love the packaging on this so much so um, yeah here we go I'm going to unravel it I'll take the or just take this off here so here it is, so Chanel in the front here to reveal. So it has it comes in like this. So these are two these are the dust bags the these come with. So because it comes with two dust bags, you probably know what type of item they are. So two reveal. My newest Chanel Ballet Flats. So I'll take these.
these out. They're kind of distracting, but these are my these are my ballet flats from Chanel. These are the classic ballet flats um, with the classic um, quilting here on, uh, on the shoe. And I asked if this was lambskin, but actually, I, they don't feel like lambskin. I think, where is it? It says, oh, it actually doesn't say what it is, but this is the SKU number, this is the information. So for the for these sizes, I'm a 39 and a half. Um, my essay was telling me that they do regularly fit small, um, just because, I don't know why, but they just do, and um, these are just so, so beautiful. Um, they don't actually feel like lambskin. I think this is actually more like a calfskin. Um, lambskin would just be too, too soft, because um, it, it, it doesn't feel like lambskin. It feels more like calfskin, so, but yeah, so it has a little bow at the top here. It has CCs. Um, just embossed there and it has the back here and then this here is the underside of the shoe so this part here is plus is um, rubber and then here is full leather and this is a sticker on the under underside of the shoe where it says that the upper the insole and the outsole is all leather and it is actually and down here it just says it's made in Italy embossed so um, I'm a 39 and a half, so that's practically like a size 9 and a half. Usually I fit like a size 9 and a half, or no, sorry, not 9 and a half, 9 or an 8 and a half. Um, but they didn't have my size, but luckily these fit. Um, the reason why I had these in here was because my, my heel is a little bit too small, too narrow for the width of these shoes. So she, my, the essay put these in here so and they f and they push my foot back and they fit comfortably when I was in the store these fit like a Cinderella shoe they are super super soft I think the interior is actually lambskin so it's not to um, you know hurt you or anything but yeah so this so it's not it says Chanel inside and and the heel here is actually made out of uh, suede, so leather suede, and it's very, very soft. It's not like the typical, like, heel backing you see on other, sh on, um, like, usual shoes, but it's that, and here's the color, I guess. Um, I think it kind of wore off or something, I'm not sure. It looks like the coating kind of wore off there, but I'm going to show you the other shoe as well. And um, I was asking the essay about, you know, where and are these really easy to wear and tear easily. And she said um, she wore hers for three years nonstop. And after three years, they just deteriorated. But um, if I take very good care of these and I don't wear them like every single day, these will last me forever. So these are the types of shoes that I'm going to wear to um, formal events or days where like you know brunches or anything not like on a typical like summer day in Toronto but you know on s more special days I do have other flats that I can wear um, that are a little not as fancy as these these are my holy grail flats of all time um, yeah I mean I don't know what else to say about them all I can all she told me to do was um, I can I can shoot I can get these shoe shined or whatever, but I'm kind of afraid to do that um, because these I don't want the leather to get ruined at all. I actually don't put anything on my Chanel shoes or on my Chanel like leather goods because they don't actually need the spray. But and yeah, so here is the receipt. So I'll just hiding my information. So see that but here it is here's the code and the price tag here on on this side of the screen um 
so they are $850 Canadian. I know that's like the most I've actually spent on any shoes. All the shoes I've, all my luxury shoes I've purchased are all like either on sale or they're way under what these shoes cost. But these are my holy grail shoes of all time. So, and I've always wanted a pair. Um, like I told my, like I thought the Valentinos, the Valentino Rock Studs would always be mine, be my all time like holy grail shoe um but actually these flats here actually will be because these will go perfectly well with my with my holy grail chanel jumbo bag and i will be wearing these and that bag like they go so well it's a power couple i i love them wearing this um my jumbo I just I can just imagine it right now with my Chanel necklace and earrings um, and then just all black it would just be so so amazing all I need is a Chanel uh, little blazer and I'm good to go but um, I, I don't think I'm ready for those for that yet it's a really really big investment for a jacket um, I actually checked the prices on the jacket, and they go from uh, 4800 and, and up. So I'm going to have to really, really pull back on that. Probably, I'm probably not going to get it just because it's clothes. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes, but for shoes and accessories, I definitely will. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments below what you think um, about my haul. Um, do you think it was a good idea for me to exchange that brooch? I think it was. It was causing too much attention to myself. Although it was beautiful, it was gorgeous. It, it, it was too small for the price tag it was. And I think these are definitely worth, worth, um, worth their price more than the uh, brooch. So, thanks guys. Follow me on Instagram. Catherine is a cat. I will be Instagramming. Not probably not my shoes a lot because I do have to get these. I have to get like sole protectors on here and even here on the heel because I am notorious to really kill the back heel here. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you uh, have a great day or night wherever you are and hope you see you then. Bye bye.